Uh, hello guys, um, I would like to show you um, uh, script uh, texture atlas which now is in the official blender 2.68 well my version is 67 but it's officially in 68 um, you can just uh, press add-ons press uh, UV and you will find a texture atlas script uh, which was made by Andrew Seo, Paul Geraskin and Campbell Barton and you can just switch it on so uh, you see our texture atlas now has interface in the render panel so what can it do? Uh, for example you have um, a character but it's in different parts and you need to make a one UV map so what uh, can we do? we can select, this is instance so this is three objects are uh, instances I just uh, back revert it ok uh, so and this is all a single object so you see this is uh, all on all in one UV, and we need to make it on unwrap entire uh, object. So we can select uh, these objects. You see, I selected them, and uh, press plus here. You can name a group. Press OK. So what we have now, we have. Uh, uh, these um, buttons so uh, this is for light map baking but uh, we will need just to we already have unwrapped model so we need only just to put this everything on one texture uh, so we just press to start manual unwrap uh, just press it and you see the object <laughs> has become in such interesting way. So okay, uh, and we see everything in a mess. So we just can make just okay. In just a second. Oh, that's better. So we can just press select um, every object and move it here, here 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 ok so the other one is left we will move it here and uh, now we need to scale them you see uh, UV map testing for testing uh, has been applied to all objects so we can select this leg for example just like that scale it and scale it scale it and now we have uh, uh, we have a map we just select all everything and scale it a bit and just place it in the one we map For example, we place it something like that. So we just uh, switch to object mode and uh, press finish manual unwrap and voila, <laughs> everything is uh, now in the place. So you, sorry, I just need to make this. So everything is unwrapped. So 
the C unwrapped model. But but we have now two UV maps, texture atlas map with the main name of uh, texture atlas and uh, old UV map. For example, you remember this old map and texture atlas map. And we can just select all these objects and select group and uh, remove other UVs. Just press this and now we can see only texture atlas map uh, UV map has uh, remained. So the script is very um, important for 3D artists. <laughs> okay. Next, uh, I will show you how to make uh, light maps for objects. Uh, okay. Uh, next, I would like to show you how to make light maps for as entire scene. For example, we have a small house and a big house. Well, just for example, it will be like that. So uh, we will just make like here. Okay, this is a big scene, and uh, we can even uh, scale this. Well, just imagine that this is your game game. Scene. Just imagine that this is your game engine, and your game scene, and you need to make uh, these objects uh, with lighting. So this is uh, the same objects, and these are the same objects. So I can just select two objects and ground, and make a new unwrap. Uh, for example. Light map game. Okay. Press OK. And you see I have light map game and I have new group. I can select group. You see. And okay. <coughs> now what we will make next is uh, just select them. You can see you can we can uh, set the size of light map, for example, 2000 pixels, 1000 pixels. Well, just to make this, for example, and we have smart unwrap light map. Uh, two methods for unwrapping, uh, and uh, we can make auto unwrap with these methods. So just press auto unwrap, and uh, you see textures are a bit became baggy but it's okay I'll just uh, uh, make them for UV UV map for UV map so it's okay but uh, but now we have uh, two two UV maps uh, I, I forgot to say that I'm now in GLSL mode shading mode, so I have lighting and materials. So uh, um, now we can just bake uh, light maps. Just uh, select group, select the group and uh, bake, open the bake menu, render just for example ambient occlusion ambient occlusion and also if you you can also I, I want to say that you can manual unwrap it you just make you see you see how they uh, were unwrapped you can change something if you don't like it you for example you can uh, for example just select no ground, but select this and start, for example, smart wrap and make something like this and the ground layer, make more, less. Well, we can make just something like that. 
just just an example. So, but uh, previous light map were selected uh, all entire area, so it would be more correct, I guess. So, smart to even wrap again, so it will be more better. But we will we can have some problems because with these objects because they are too small smaller possibly you will need to scale them so okay just finish unwrap and we're back to our pro objects uh, now we can bake ambient occlusion bake uh, from motor as uh, normalize it yes normalize it and we can set mm, second, uh, ambient occlusion samples for example 10 Constant adaptive QMC. So, and we can just bake. And we can go to Node.js.l a multi texture mode and see this uh, and press bake. And we should. See uh, uh, baking result. Okay, it works. Second, uh, I didn't select everything. So yes, select group. I should select group. And uh, now we will bake everything, entire our light map with our selection. Just okay. We have about finished our light map. It's almost finishing. So we see this is the small areas. Some areas could be with problems. So now you see light map looks like that. But it's okay. We just need to enter this light map and everything will be okay so um, size of the li light map is too much we can make it less uh, for example 0.3 and make it a bit faster okay just let's make five, five samples and sorry I didn't select group and bake It's much faster now, and you see more white spaces. Okay, we have now our, um, our textures. So we just save it. Image, uh, save as image, and we just just a, a, a save. Okay, now we save, save it a bit. And what we can do now is just um, go to GLSR mode and uh, we will add additional texture to material. Texture, um, image or movie. Select our light map. UV light map my game, and we will uh, make it multiply. So you see the light under this. And we now texture zero three, and just go here and. Uh, light map and multiply. So now we see everything is with light, with shadows, in, and it will be pretty good for games. You can come in 
here. You can walk. Also, you can bake everything what you need, not only uh, ambient occlusion, but also you can bake um, shadow. It's very um, sometimes important too, specular or something different. So I recommend you to use it in such a case. And you see, also we have two UV maps. So thank you.